In this video, we are going to explain how to upload the Excel report templates to the server. We provided two options to upload templates. The first one is the instant upload, where the process of writing the template's data to the server starts immediately after uploading the file. The second option is the night job upload. User will upload the template to the server only. The process of writing the data to the server is scheduled to run at night, which scan all the files and write them to the database. Let's start with the instant upload. The user is ready to upload his file to the database. Instant upload works for both static reports as well as dynamic reports. The user upload the file. The server will check the template file against security conditions. Check the user has author permission on this report using the SRID. Check if the period is not in future. And finally check if the period is not uploaded and approved before. Then the data writing process from Excel file to the database begins. User has to wait until the process is finished. He can also follow up the uploading process. The process time taken to upload and write the data to the database depends on the data size and how many users are uploading at the same time. When the process completed, the user will get a summary for successful and missed records. And the time elapsed while writing the file to the database. Let's see the instant upload in action. We are going to upload a static report template file. This static report name is, Output Patients Waiting Time to See the Physician. This report is yearly and we are uploading data for 2017. The filter, UAE Expat, is set to Emirate Patients. From Source Reports page at their, eSource system, click the Instant Upload icon. Click, Browse button, and select the file you wish to upload. The file is now ready to be written to the database. Click, Upload Data button, and wait for the process to finish. Click the Details button to see the progress. The uploading process completed with the following summary. The total number of rows available in the Excel template is 27. The number of successful rows inserted to the database is 27. All the rows in Excel sheet are written to the database without any error. The time elapsed to complete the process is 35 seconds. Common errors you may receive before writing the file to the database could be Missing report information sheet. This means you are not uploading the template you have downloaded before. You are uploading other Excel file. Data period for this report is invalid, or it does not match period type or you entered future value. This means the period written in the template is not in the correct format, or maybe it's entered as future period. Updating reports data for the selected period aborted since period was approved. This means that you are uploading data for a period which is already approved by the source approval. Once period is approved you can't modify its data again. One or all of the filters are missing. This means you didn't select the filter from list of predefined values. Filter is used to categorize the data, for example a filter could be, UAE expat, filter. Let's get back to the uploading dialog. If you have noticed, there is an abort operation button down the upload process box. This button is used to stop the process of writing the file to the database. You can use it if you suspect that you uploaded the wrong file. For the dynamic reports, the instant uploading process is the same as the static report we uploaded earlier. Because the dynamic report can has any number of items, we added the option, data write. To explain the data write options let's upload the this file for report, emirate patients data. This template contains 10 rows as you can see in the data section. We will upload the file with the default option, append to previous data. We will upload data for period August 2018. Back to the source reports page. Click the instant upload icon. Then click browse, and choose the template file for report, Emirate Patients data. Click, upload data button, and wait until the process completed.
Notice that we have uploaded successfully 10 rows. Each row consists of 31 field. So, we have total of 310 data entry. To view the number of rows in a period, we will click there, empty report data button. We are not going to empty any period. We just want to view the number of rows available in a specific period. As you can see, there are 10 rows for the period August 2018. Now, let's upload the same file again without changing anything inside it. Follow the same steps of uploading process and wait for the process to complete. Because we kept the data write option to append to previous data, another 10 rows were appended, in other words added to the existing data. Now, as you may expect, the total number of rows for period August 2018 will be 20 rows. Let us check the period size again from the empty report data button. You are right, the total number of rows is now 20 rather than 10 rows. Now let's go back to the Excel template for the report, Emirate Patients Data. We will change the data write option to B, overwrite existing data. Delete the last three rows, just to change some number. Now, we have only seven rows to upload, with the data write option, overwrite existing data. This option will delete the previous rows inside the period, which in our case 20 rows related to August 2018 and replace them with the new data rows which in our case will be 7 rows. Let us upload the file again and see the result. Close the upload dialog box, and click the empty data period button again. You must see 7 rows for the period of August 2018. The other option available for uploading template files is the night job server upload. This option is available for dynamic reports only, because it is candidate to have hundreds or even thousands of records at the same period. User can upload one file daily, so that we can allow others to upload their files and prevent single user from holding the queue of files to his own and affect the system performance. When the file is uploaded the system check the file as in instant upload against the following. Security conditions. Check the user has author permission on this report using the SRID. Check if the period is not in future. And finally check if the period is not uploaded and approved before. At that point the file is saved to the server ready to be processed. At night the server holds a queue of files ready to be processed and written to the database. The server will process each file one after another. For each processed file. The server will send a summary to the user, so he can view the result of processing the file next day. The following conditions applied on uploading files for night job process. This option is available for dynamic reports only. It's recommended to benefit from this option to upload huge files with more than 500 rows to upload. The process of writing data will be always, overwrite existing data, means that previous data will be deleted. If there are previous data in the targeted period with more than 200 rows, the system will ask the user first to delete these records before uploading the file, saving time for the night job to write data in faster way. For demonstration, we are going to upload data for report, Emirate Patients Data. We are going to upload data for September 2018. Click the server upload icon. The conditions you see are the same we described before. Click browse and choose the file you wish to upload. When you are ready, press the upload file button and see the result. The server will check the file and save it in the queue of files to be processed at night. Now, you can close the window. See the files you uploaded for the night job. Open the Upload to Server Summary page from the Sources category in the main menu navigation. You can see the file we have just uploaded, and a list of previous files which have been uploaded before. The green icon in the Status column shows the successful data write process. 
the red icon shows the failed date to write process. While the blue icon indicates that this file is not yet processed. The table also shows for which period did you upload files and to which report they belong. To see more details about the process open the tab icon. For example this summary tell the user about validation error occurred in cell number L12. In this video, we explained in details the Excel template uploading process in both options. Instant upload, and the night job upload. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next videos.